AMD's frame generation with FSR 3.1 is really making waves, especially on the Steam Deck. Popular YouTuber ETA Prime recently showed off how well this tech works on several games, and it's pretty impressive. Titles like Spider-Man Remastered, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Ratchet and & Clank A Rift Apart are seeing significant improvements in performance on the handheld device. Before going deep into the details, let's set the scene. The Steam Deck Valve's gaming handheld has been a game changer for portable gaming since its release. However, running demanding games smoothly has always been a challenge, given the device's limited hardware compared to full-fledged gaming PCs. This is where AMD's FSR 3.1 and frame generation come into play, enhancing performance and making high-quality gaming on the go more feasible. So, what exactly did ETA Prime find? For starters, games that previously ran at around 30 to 45 FPS on medium settings saw a remarkable boost. With FSR 3.1 and frame generation enabled, these games jumped to a smooth 60 FPS and sometimes even higher. This was particularly evident with Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales, which were shown running at a consistent 60 FPS on 720p or 800p resolution. That's a significant upgrade, making the gameplay experience far more fluid and enjoyable. Another title that saw a huge performance boost was Ratchet & Clank. A Rift Apart. Known for its stunning visuals and intense action, this game can be quite demanding. However, thanks to AMD's tech, it now runs beautifully on the Steam Deck. ETA Prime demonstrated that these improvements aren't just minor tweaks, but substantial enhancements that make a real difference in how these games feel and play. Ghost of Tsushima is another noteworthy mention. This game is notoriously tough on lower spec systems, often struggling to maintain smooth frame rates. But with FSR 3.1 and frame generation, ETA Prime managed to get it running at over 70 FPS on medium settings at 800p. This is quite a feat for the Steam Deck, showcasing the potential of AMD's advancements. It's worth noting that all these games were running on the balanced FSR setting. Switching to performance mode could push the FPS even higher, although there might be a trade-off in visual quality. However, not all games benefited equally. Horizon Forbidden West, for instance, is still a tough nut to crack. Valve even lists it as unsupported on the Steam Deck. ETA Prime tried various tweaks, including using FSR in performance mode and lowering the resolution to 720p with all settings dialed down to low. Despite these efforts, achieving a steady 60 FPS was still challenging. Locking the GPU clock at 1600 MHz did improve the experience somewhat, but it's clear that some games are just too demanding for the Steam Deck's hardware, even with AMD's enhancements. Overall, the integration of AMD FSR 3.1 with frame generation is a significant boon for gaming handhelds like the Steam Deck. It extends the capabilities of these devices, making high-end gaming more accessible on the go. While the current support is limited to a handful of games, the potential for broader adoption is exciting. As more developers embrace these technologies, we can expect even better performance across a wider range of titles. In the grand scheme of things, advancements like these are crucial. They not only improve the user experience, but also set the stage for the future of portable gaming. The Steam Deck, already a revolutionary device, stands to benefit immensely from continued enhancements in graphics and performance technologies. With AMD leading the charge, gamers can look forward to smoother, more immersive experiences, even on a handheld. For those considering a purchase, the Steam Deck remains a compelling choice, especially with these performance boosts. Alternatives like the Legion Go are also in the mix, currently priced at around $600 on Amazon, but the Steam Deck's growing ecosystem and support make it a strong contender. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these technologies evolve and what new possibilities they unlock for gaming on the go. In conclusion, ETA Prime's showcase highlights the transformative potential of AMD's FSR 3.1 and frame generation. While not a universal fix for all games, the improvements in supported titles are substantial. For Steam Deck owners, this means a better, smoother gaming experience, pushing the limits of what's possible on a handheld device. Here's to more games joining the list of supported titles and to the future of portable gaming looking brighter than ever. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.